County Judge Executive Houston Wells. Welcome to County Connections. Today we have a special guest, Mr. Roy Gray. Roy is friend of the court. Roy, tell the audience what friend of the court is. Thank you, Judge. Um, well, the friend of the court is a statutorily authorized um, office uh, that's funded on a county by county basis by the fiscal court of each county. Um, I'm a private lawyer, uh, but the friend of the court, and I am the friend of the court, has to be a licensed um, lawyer who's appointed by the circuit judges to serve as the friend of the court. And under the statute, our job is to protect the best interests of the children of divorced parents or parents who aren't married or haven't been married, but um, are, are nevertheless in the picture. And one of the primary things that we do is to monitor and collect child support. Now, we, over the years, I've been doing this since 1991. I've been appointed, I was appointed back then. The program's been in effect since the early 80s when Judge Meggs was the judge. But I've been doing this since 1991. And um, our job is, like I said, is primarily to monitor child support payments between uh, parents and to make sure the payments are paid according to the orders on time uh, and in the amount that they're supposed to be. And over the years, we've represented thousands, literally thousands of people, and millions of dollars have been collected and dispersed through our office, and it's an ongoing uh, proposition. Now, most of our, the people, most of the parents we represent are responsible, pay their child support on time, and in the time and the amount that they're supposed to, and they're good parents, and they work for the best interest of the children. But there are cases, and there are too many of them, where one of the parents who's ordered to pay child support doesn't pay child support as they're ordered to do. And in those situations, what we have to do, what I have to do as an attorney, is to file the appropriate motions with the family court in front of Judge Williams and ask the judge for various um, orders to enforce the orders that he's previously ordered. Um, we file motions to collect child support. We, collect, we file motions to enforce child support. And it goes as far as even asking the judge to find non-paying parents who are under order to pay child support, to find them in contempt, order them to, sell, to um, serve jail time unless they retire in the arrears that's um, developed or otherwise um, take care of their, their obligation. Now the judge typically, and, and it's not a draconian system, I mean the judge wants people to pay child support. He wants them to comply with their orders. He doesn't want to see people in jail. Nobody wants to see a parent in jail. My job is to enforce the orders, and all I want is for the parents to work together for the best interests of the children and to pay the child support they're ordered. And that's the goal of Judge Williams, too, and he's very supportive of our, of our office, as has been the fiscal court for years, because the fiscal court, although we're created by statute, the fiscal court each year has to allocate the funds to support us. Many counties in Kentucky, the, the, county, um, the county legislature and government doesn't do this. Fortunately in Frankfurt, uh, the, the fiscal court has always been very supportive uh, and interested and f in furthering the best interests of families uh, and the best interests of the children. And that's what it all comes down to, Judge. It's the best, best interests of the children. children. Right. One of the parents um, is normally receives the child support, and they depend on that child support. And when the child support doesn't come in, you know, it's hard on the parent who's, who's supporting the child, but it's also really hard on the children. And so, so, Ray, you, uh, Roy, I'm sorry, Roy, you, uh, you're kind of the conduit for the, the parents to get this child, child support to help the kids. Um, is there or are there situations where you become like a, a mediator or a counselor or something to try to work with both sides because we, we know that divorces are ugly. No, even, even the, the best divorce is an ugly sure. divorce. There's nothing good about it other than just separating, but it, it, the, it always affects the children in, in some form or fashion. So I believe, I think you all have a program where you're helping the kids too and, as, and the families. Absolutely. We also administered the FIT program, the okay, Families yeah. in Transition okay. program. And when parents divorce or when parents who aren't married mm -hmm. separate and they're going to go their own ways, well, especially in divorce, they can't, uh, Judge Williams won't enter the divorce decree unless the parents have completed what's known as the FIT program. 
and we have a staff of counselors, trained psychologists, who conduct these FIT programs. And again, that's families in transition. The, the moms are in one room, or, uh, attend one session, mm -hmm. the dads attend another one, and then the children are also involved. involved. And through the FIT program, the counselors basically discuss some of the typical pitfalls, problems, and travails of parties that are involved in divorce because people, you know, they, they have differences, they get yes, divorced, right. and they don't right. know what to right. expect a lot right. of times. Right, right. And so it's a chance to, for these trained um, counselors, family counselors, to, to discuss the issues with the moms on one hand, the dads on the other hand. We have, we have sessions every month. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and so the, they, they have to get a certificate from us that they've attended and completed the FIT program, and the kids as well, before a divorce will be granted. And then just on a day-to-day -day basis, we have, I have a full-time assistant who's up there, and then we have a, a, a part-time helper. And we have hundreds of people in and out of our office every week. We have hundreds of people who pay their child support um, by mail. They can, hand, they can deliver it. Uh, by hand, um, and we keep track of it, and we monitor it, we keep track of the arrearages. And for instance, if you were the, the, the dad in a divorce, and you had children, and the mom, and you're supposed to pay child support, you could either send us the, your check, or you could come by our office, we take the check, we deposit it, and then we issue the, the payments. And it's a, I mean, there's lots and lots of money, there's lots and lots of it's people. A, it's a conduit. Then, it's a conduit, it's exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in the course of all that, you know, we don't, want, we, we don't want to go to court if we can avoid sure. it. So we do, to the extent we can, we do try to mediate and try to harmonize things because you know, anybody that's ever been exposed to anybody who's been in a divorce knows how crazy and unpleasant yeah. things can be. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of times divorced parents just can't communicate. We try to help that. And we, try right. to, we try to resolve this to keep everybody on track. Right. And um, I, well, we've been pretty successful a long time. That's great. And once again, it's for the kids. It's really for, for the, the kids. kids. So as you've talked about this program, and, and first of all, thank you, because it is, it is great for the community, great to, well, thank to, you to, for help the support. The, to help the families and the kids and thank you in for our the community. Support. Well, we're honored. So as, to tell the audience how someone could get involved if they're going through a divorce process, where does this fit in, and, what, and how do they uh, uh, get involved? Well, well the, the best way, well, first off, let me just say this. In the course of a divorce program or of divorce proceedings, when a divorce decree is entered, Judge Williams, by local rules, generally orders people to pay child support to and through the friend of the court. Oh, okay, okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, that's typically the way it is. And then sometimes they think people think they can just work it out themselves, and then they ask me or the staff to ask the judge to assign it to, 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 um, to us. But in any case, if anybody has any questions about that, the thing to do is to call our office. It's in the, the, the county courthouse annex above the clerk's office on the second floor. Um, our telephone number is 502-875-2324, and we're there from 8 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon. Now, I, as I said, I'm, I do this part-time. I've been doing this for a long time. Part of, the, um, part of the mandate of being the friend of the court, though, is I'm prohibited from representing any party in a divorce. I'm, always, I'm right in the middle. I don't represent either party. Can't by law. And um, so you can talk to uh, Becky Whitson, who's in the office, um, she'll, if there's a bigger problem that she can't handle, then I get involved, and that's frequent. So anyone that's, that has any questions or needs help with child support or anything that has to do with the, their, their family, uh, split family, especially involving children, are encouraged to call our office. Okay. Uh, so what about um, a lady moves in from another county somewhere else into Franklin County, had been getting child support and things, and so her ex lives someplace else, does she need to be involved with this, or does, 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 how does that work? Well, that, that's a complicated problem, because we can only enforce orders from Franklin Family Court. Okay, okay. So if somebody moves in from Lexington, say, and got divorced in Lexington or Louisville or Paducah, and the, 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 
support orders, the divorce orders from, from that jurisdiction, the only way we can really step in is if the, the, the case is transferred to the Franklin okay. family court. they could court. get it transferred they to Franklin. Could. If, okay. They could. They mm -hmm. could. It's It you know, generally takes a lawyer to do it, mm -hmm. but it can be done. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, uh, Thank you for your information and friend of the court. We know why you're called friend of the court because <laughs> you are definitely a friend of the court. And that's that that it, we're very proud to support this program and, and Roy Gray we're th thankful to have you in Franklin County for what you're doing I hope that you've learned a lot about friend of the court today and if you need the assistance remember the number and give give them a call thank you for watching this has been County Connections we hope that you like and share our program thank you so much for watching